Are you looking at raising quail and you're wondering just how much work is it on a daily basis? That's what I'm going to get covered for you in today's video. Hey there, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with my channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables in your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's what you want to do. Today we're talking about quail and we're talking about how much work it is to raise your quail on a daily basis, your daily chores. I did a video similar to this on my rabbits and it got really good responses. I had several people ask me to do one on quail, so that's what I'm doing this morning. It's early morning, I'm getting ready to head off to work. It's kind of gloomy out today, but I'm going to run you through what my daily chores are. First thing is the water bucket. Now, I don't need to fill this up today. It's got now it's got about that much water in it, so this thing will last when I fill it up with, oh, I don't know, I've got 12 in there, 13 in there, something like that, and it's going to last at least a week, a week and a half before I have to fill this bucket back up with water. If it wasn't for that, if I had to fill up water, I'd you know, carry a jug out here to put water in there as well, but don't have to do that. So, going through the daily chores, open up their cage. It's been raining here, so the wood's kind of swelled up. And... They need some feed. And shake that out a little bit. There we go. There's a feeder full of feed. This is going to last these guys probably about three days. Probably I won't have to feed again for another two or three days. It's a great thing about quails. You don't have to worry about overfeeding them. So I just fill their feeder up once every uh, about three or four days. And let's see if I got any eggs this morning. Oh yeah, I got eggs. All right, so that's about it as far as the daily chores go. Just make sure they got feed, make sure they got water. Um, if you're using an automatic watering system like I do with the bucket here, only got to feed that, fill that up about once every three weeks. And their feeders, like I said, last them about three days usually before I have to fill those back up again. So in a lot of ways, they're actually easier than rabbits because you don't have to worry about them overeating. You can just fill their feeder up instead of having to give them just the right amount of feed every single day. Um, that's not really that big of a difference, but it does make a little bit easier. The only other difference is, of course, collecting eggs every day and making sure that those get collected, but it just takes a few minutes to do that. So really not much work on a daily basis. The only other chores that I have to do with these guys is, uh, you know, of course, watch for injuries, make sure uh, none of them are hurt, uh, treat those if they're the case. Very rare that that actually happens. Um, the other things would be cleaning out underneath the cages. The droppings accumulate and I need to clean those out about once, maybe twice a year. Um, if you're using stacking cages indoor with dropping pans, then yeah, you're going to have to empty those out more frequently. Probably about once every three, four days. Take them out, dump them in a compost pile or whatever, and then put them back in. But other than that, there's not really too much else that you have to do with these guys. Pretty easy to take care of. They don't take much time. And if you've got them in an outdoor hutch like this where you just let the droppings fall to the ground, super easy to take care of. Care of. Um, as far as the odor goes with these guys, really not too much most of the time. It's been raining pretty much non-stop, so the droppings are kind of wet right now, and there is a little bit of an odor. Not as bad as you would think, but more so than normal. Most of the time, if it's not just soaking wet outside, there's hardly any odor right here at all. You hardly even notice it. So hopefully that clears a few things up for you. Um, let me know in the comments below, is there something I forgot? Something else that you've got to do to take care of your quail on a daily basis? Anything uh, that you're wondering about that I didn't get answered in this video? I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, God bless.